Judge Jeanine Pirro, uh, I guess, got thrown off the show, and it got worse behind the scenes. Uh, all she was doing was pointing out, no, the president doesn't refer to all immigrants as racist or, or murderers and rapists. Um, but uh, we've given you the statistics. We brought on guests on this program. Yeah, families whose children have been murdered by illegal immigrants, and it's a reality. We've met the angel moms and the angel mom groups, and they do exist. Uh, but the president does not speak with broad sweeping generalizations. He's talking about some and has been very clear and made that determination and distinction many times. Uh, Judge Jeanine Pirro has her new book out, which I guess brought her to the uh, studios of The View. It's called Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, The Case Against uh, the Anti-Trump Conspiracy. All right, you got you got to tell us what happened. Holy moly. <laughs> well, Sean, wow. thanks. You're absolutely yeah. In listening to that, I haven't watched it, and, and I, I haven't looked at what happened. I'm still reeling from it, to be honest with you. Uh, I went on thinking that we would have a discussion about the book. The truth is that it was an attack on Donald Trump and then on me. I sat there as Whoopi Goldberg pontificated about how horrible Donald Trump was, and at one point I said, you know, I'm here to talk about the book, and then she went ballistic, she ended the segment, she said, that's it, I'm done, and what people didn't see who were watching the show was she yanked away from the desk, uh, or where we were all sitting, and she decided uh, that she was going to end it. No one saw that, but it got worse. When I went off the stage, Sean, uh, I was walking downstairs, uh, and I said something like, Whoopi, I fought for victims my whole life, and she came at me as I was leaving, and she said, F you, in my face, literally spitting at me, F you, get the F out of this building. And I said to her, did you just say that? She said, that's what I said, get the F out of this building, and she was screaming at me, and I'm walking out of the building like a dog who was just kicked off. So forget about what she did to me on set, which was horrific in itself, but the treatment by uh, Whoopi Goldberg is typical of what is going on in this country. The left, they invite you on to talk. They then won't let you talk. They throw you off the show and then throw you out of the building. And here's the problem, Sean. The problem is once one starts doing it, the rest of them are going to start doing it. And I, I am... I but, it, but it's so already happening. I mean, it's Secretary Nielsen, it's Pam Bondi, it's Sarah Huckabee Sanders, uh, it's now Stephen Miller. I mean, they're out Outside of people's but homes. I it's, was invited, Sean, onto that show. I got it. They didn't I, listen. <laughs> she wanted to get away with saying something that is absolutely provably false. That the president refers to all immigrants as uh, rapists and murderers. That's not true. And, you know, the fact that the president, his real policy is to build a wall to vet immigrants from other countries, but have a big door in the wall. And if once we vet you, we find out you want to be a part of our family. And it, it just is it's much easier to go with the emotional talking points and the facts be damned. And one yeah, thing well. you have on your side is your keen intellect. You study this as well as anybody I know. And she wasn't going to be able to hold a candle to you actually debating her. And as you were beginning to to tell her she's wrong, that's when, you know, she threw you out. But, but Sean, throwing me out, I mean, these people on the left, and I said in the first segment, Sean, and again, I have to look at it, I said, we need to start talking about this stuff. You know, we need to start, you know, recognizing that it doesn't matter if it's Donald Trump or if it's a Democrat running. We've got to have a Department of Justice and an FBI that is not corrupt. And it was, I'll tell you, Sean, I've been a prosecutor, a judge of DA for 30 years. I've sat on murder trials. I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. I've tried murder cases. I've gone against drug cartels. I have never been treated like that in my life. I was Done. You know, Done. when they it, it, and you would think if they would at least do a little bit of research in your background and your experience as a prosecutor, um, you were a strong defender your entire career for women's rights and the rights of children. I mean, that that was you know some the of the cases of you took children, on the rights of, of of victims of hate crimes. I fought for hate crime law. I testified before Congress on a hate crime law. I testified for the silent victim of crime. I protected uh, the illegal 
illegals when they were victims of other illegals. I mean, I don't know, but you can't say anything. How dare you like Donald Trump? How dare you stand up for the president of the United States? How dare you say that, that when he met with Putin, that wasn't treason? Well, wait a minute. For 75 years, presidents have met with the head of the Kremlin. I, I bet they, they, they've lost their mind. And the, the way I was treated and thrown out at the end, first of all, it was a setup. They never said, by the way, we're going to have CNN co-host this, uh, 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 a contributor from uh, CNN, Anna Navarro. Uh, mm-hmm. And then it was just, it was, the whole thing was stunning, Sean. And uh, you know what? What the right has got to learn that there is no way to calmly discuss this. These people are out. If, for if you would have asked me ahead of time, I would have told you not to go on the show. You didn't ask me, um, well, and I, I had I had a similar experience, except that Did that you? time it was with Rosie O'Donnell, and it was a <laughs> knockdown, drag out, shouting fest. Barbara Walters <laughs> could not shut either one of us up, and it just got it's. it's I just was not going to be shouting down by a lunatic. Yeah, and, and, and that's what they try what? to do. And they told me, oh, don't go on the view. I said, you know what? I've got a book. Uh, you know, the book is based in fact. There isn't any question I can't handle. But I'll tell you what they... Well, you I can't handle five on one and ending an interview and being cussed at as you walk out the door. It's not... You know, in that case, they couldn't handle the fact that you did have arguments to the back of what they're. They see, they have a predetermined that. narrative, and it's very comfortable in that studio with a liberal audience of people that worship them and are going to clap at everything they say. They can't well, handle the fact that you do have real substantive answers, researched answers to their to their talking points that they spew every day that are not rooted in truth. So and you know the book. That's why I wrote the book. Uh, the book is factual. Liars, liars, and liberals. You yeah. know that's why I wrote it. I want to talk about what is going on in this country, but they don't want to talk about it, Sean. And that's why I mean people like you and me uh, are are demonized by the left. Well, let's go over the two points you were going to make. The first was about her statement that any president that refers to immigrants as rapists and murderers. Uh, you were about to say, no, that's not well, true. Well, first of all, the, the first point was, you know, let's talk about the rapists and murderers. And the second point is, that's not what he said. I didn't have a chance to say, I knew Donald Trump for 30 years. I've seen him with with uh, uh, minorities. And by the way, minorities today, Hispanics, African Americans, have never been better off in terms of, of the employment, in terms of the economy, in terms of the ability to provide for your family. We've never been safer than we are from ISIS. I mean, you know, and this whole idea that, uh, you know, meeting with Putin makes him treasonous. Well, you know what? Barack Obama sat there while Putin invaded the Ukraine while he annexed the Crimea and did nothing. Barack Obama hoisted up a fake-believe, a make-believe counterintelligence investigation as an insurance policy to shut up Donald Trump and make sure he was impeached. I mean, this is about right and wrong and justice. Lady Justice is supposed to be blind, not with them. Right now, yeah. she's peeking through those bandages and looking to uh, balance the scales on their side. It's you know, this is the, this is what there's another part of this is that if somebody could calmly, intelligently, and with the facts debunk all the the all the narrative that they spew every day, it then becomes a problem for them because now the audience that just maybe watches them and maybe just CNN, the few that do, then they begin to realize, wait a minute, there is a whole other thought process out here that's yeah. different from ours and and the daily dose of propaganda we're being fed and that becomes a threat to them and who they are and what they've actually been telling their audience and they get exposed as not being telling the truth and and the amazing part of it is that it is uh, a live example of the uh, of the of the effort on the part of the left to take away our free speech rights they will invite you on to talk with them and answer their questions. Then they'll they'll pontificate. They won't let you speak. They shut down your First Amendment right, and then they pull a plug, curse you out, and throw you out of the building. I, no. You know, I, never in my life, Sean. And you know, and I'm hoping that people will read the book. Liars, leakers, and liberals, and get what's going on. Because I'm here to tell you, I've experienced it.
Well, I can't wait to show this video of you. Maybe you can give us a play-by-play -play tonight on Hannity. Uh, we'll continue. We'll have more with Judge Jeanine Pirro. And as we continue with Judge Jeanine Pirro, the host of uh, Judge Jeanine, Friday, uh, Saturday nights at uh, 9 Eastern on the Fox News Channel, the number one show in its slot by far, uh, frequent villain guest on Hannity, the nights that I take off. Her new book is out, Liars, Leakers, Liberals, The Case Against the Anti-Trump Conspiracy. And she made the mistake of going on The View today and got thrown off the show and then got kicked out in the door with a few choice cuss words from Whoopi Goldberg. Um, well, let me ask this. You were going to explain to her what the deep state is. You said, who is, who is this deep state? Well, I, yeah, I know I you have a good I answer. Won't. I have a good answer. <laughs> of course. Yeah, how much time do. does she have? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, she didn't want to know. Uh, what she wanted to do was make an opening statement on what a racist Donald Trump is, not let me answer, then throw me uh, uh, in this segment. And, you know, I'm on television like you, obviously, Sean, and I'm saying to myself as I'm sitting there, Janine, is this really happening? The segment isn't over yet. It just started. And she stormed off, and they immediately put my uh, uh, book up so people couldn't see her storming off, although she ended up, I understand, apologizing to the audience. But when I walked off stage and she was there uh, as I was stepping down, she uh, she got in my face, and she was so close to me, Sean, and she said, F you, F you, get the F out of this building. You know, get the F out of this building. And I said, did you just say that to me? And, you know, get the F out. And I'm walking out of the building, and I'm saying, I've been a prosecutor, a judge, a district attorney. People used to lie when I walk into a room, and I don't need that, that, that formality. But I have never been asked to come somewhere, try to answer a question, and then curse that and thrown out of the building. I've never been treated like this in my life, and it's what the left is doing to people on the right to shut them down. They can't deal with it. And I think that Americans need to recognize, in 2018, if we don't make sure that we keep the House and the Senate, we're going to end up being not just ostracized, but thrown out on a larger scale the way they're, they did to me today. It was outrageous. Outrageous, Sean. Well, you're obviously somebody that I know well. I know it was uncomfortable, but you, I know if anybody can handle it, it's you. You handled it perfectly to me. Uh, I can't okay. wait to show this video on TV tonight, so we'll see you later. And and uh, hang in there. It's a sign you're effective. It's a sign they don't like how effective you are. They're just they're just angry, and you know you're bringing in a dose of reality that they really can't handle. Uh, all right, Judge Janine, liars, leakers, liberals, the case against the anti-Trump conspiracy, and uh, Hannity.com, Amazon.com. If you want to get a copy.